Hey Future Scholar! Welcome to the second part of this tutorial in how to apply for the 2024 DOST SEI Undergraduate Scholarship. Now to access the 2024 Undergraduate Scholarship website, just go to ugrad.science-scholarships.ph. Now to register, just uh, scroll down a bit and look for the register button. Ito po, apply for scholarship. Click this one, and all you have to do is fill out the registration form for you to be able to register. Ayan po. In my case, halimbawa, yung given name ay Juan. Uh, wala po akong ilalagay sa middle name. You can uh, put your middle name here or leave it blank if wala po kayong middle name. And then, lagay nyo po dito yung inyong last name. And pag mayroon po kayong suffix name, for example, junior, or kaya the second or the third, ilagay nyo lang po dyan sa suffix name. Pag wala naman po, you can leave it blank. Then next is to provide your primary email address. Halimbawa, yung primar primary email address ko ay this one. And then my alternate email, for example, uh, huwandilacruz at gmail.com. So dalawa po yung inyong e uh, lalagay na email address for the registration form, your primary and alternate email address. Next po is to provide the system your birth date. So halimbawa in my case, um, let's say 2000 uh, January 1, ayan. Tapos next is to click this checkbox here, uh, meaning you can send, no? Uh, or you certify that all the information you provided in this application are yours, true and up to date. Any misinformation, misrepresentation, or withholding of information will automatically disqualify you from this uh, scholarship program. And you also consent to the privacy terms or data privacy terms of DOST SEI. So next is to click the register button here at the bottom, ayan po, bottom right. Click nyo lang po yan. Tapos after nyo po i-click yung register button, may magpa-pop up po na registration successful. So, pakita ko lang po ito since nag-register na po ako kanina. So, registration successful, a confirmatory email was sent to you. So, visit the link indicated in the email to continue with your scholarship application. Ayan po. So, uh, next is to check your email po, your email inbox kung uh, may natanggap po kayo na email from the system. So, if hindi nyo po yun mahanap sa inyong inbox, maaaring nasa spam folder po yung message from the system for step 2. So, on, uh, halimbawa, in my case, no, sa um, side ko naman, uh, ito po yung na-receive ko na message from the system. So, uh, sc uh, scroll down lang po tayo at may nakalagay po dito sa baba to begin step 2 please use this link. So, click lang po natin yung link na ito to proceed with or to begin step 2. Now, um, please enter your birth date to continue. Ayan, silagay lang po natin yung birth date para makapag-proceed tayo with step 2. Ayan, so step 2 is actually uh, an eligibility uh, questionnaire, no? So, kailangan nyo lang pong sagutan yung eligibility questionnaire. Dito nyo po malalaman kung eligible po kayo to apply for the scholarship or not. Ayan, so may nakalagay po na instruction dito. Basahin nyo lang po yan. Ayan, so please uh, read carefully and answer truthfully. By uh, the following questions, by clicking the circle corresponding to your answer. So first question, are you a natural, natural born Filipino citizen? Of course, so answer yes to that. Are you a graduating grade 12 student in academic year 2023-2024? Click yes if your answer is yes. Then click no if your answer is no. So yes yung isasagot ko. Next question, are you in, uh, sub-question for number two, no? Are you in the STEM strand in senior high school? So answer yes if yes, answer no if no. Pero pag nag-no po kayo, may another question pa po uh, for this. Are you in a non-STEM strand? So answer yes to that if yes. Ayan. Tapos may sub-question na naman po if you're from uh, the non-STEM strand, no? So based in your grade 11 standing, did you belong to the upper 5% of the graduating class? So answer yes to that or no if no. So yung isasagot ko lang po for question number 2 is 
Um, yes, ayan po. Uh, tapos, I am under the STEM strand. Ayan. For number three, have you been found guilty by the school student tribunal for any wrongdoing while in school? So, pag uh, ikaw ba ay na, uh, napatunay yung nagkasala no, sa inyong school? So, answer yes to that. If yes, then click no if no. So, no po yung isasagot ko dito. Number four, are you in good health and fit to study in college? Just answer yes. Let's answer yes to that. Number five, do you have a pending application for immigration to the USA or any other country? So answer yes if oh, oh. answer no if in that. So no yung isasagot ko dito. Number six, have you applied for a DOSC SEI scholarship before? Answer yes if oh, oh. answer no if in that. So I'll just answer no to this question. And number seven, have you earned any collegiate or post high school vocational units? So, ikaw ba ay nakukuha na ng college units no? pagkatapos ng high school? So, pag wala pa, then answer no. And then, my sub-question po dito for number 7, are you currently enrolled in college? Answer yes. If yes, or pag hindi, answer no. Now, next is to click this checkbox here. Um, meaning, you certify no, that uh, all the answers you provided are true. And if later found out that you have provided a truthful answer, then uh, your application shall be null and void. Then click Continue to Proceed. You can review your answer before clicking uh, the Continue button. But if sure na po kayo sa mga sagot no, nyo, just uh, click Continue. Then makikita nyo po dito yung inyong mga sagot for every question. Then click Submit. Ayan. So if you are eligible to apply for the uh, DOSC SEI undergraduate scholarship, ito po yung inyong um, makikita. No? May magbibigay po ng application ID yung e-application system. So use, uh, kailangan nyo lang pong gawin is save po itong application ID. Pwede nyo pong screenshot, picture and or inote nyo po para ma-access nyo po yung um, system uh, later pag nakalimutan nyo po or hindi nyo po itutuloy itong um, pag-apply nyo for now. Ayan po. So, halimbawa, check po natin yung system. Ayan. So, ayan. Uh, click nyo lang po ito dahil may account na po kayo. No? So, already have an account and click login. So, dito nyo po i- uh, lalagay yung inyong application ID, primary email address, and your birthday pag kayo po ay nag-login again sa si system. So, hindi nyo na po kailangan mag-register again. But uh, all you have to do is log in using your application ID, primary email, and birthday. Ayan. On this uh, case, no, sa ating tutorial, uh, click ko lang po itong proceed to application form para ako ay makapag-proceed na sa step 3. Ayan. By the way, if hindi po kayo eligible sa na mag-apply no sa DOST SES scholarship, ang magpapop up po sa system ay sorry you are not eligible for the following reasons. Tapos nakalagay naman po doon sa baba kung ano po yung reason bakit hindi po kayo eligible. But in our case, no in my case for the, uh, this tutorial no, I am eligible kaya nakapag-proceed po ako to step 3. Now, step three is the student information questionnaire. Ayan, may mga question na naman po na dapat nating sagutan. Number one, how many children including you uh, are there in the family? So, halimbawa, um, I am an only child. So, one yung isasagot ko. What is your order of birth in your family? So, I am the firstborn. In what kind of community have you spent most of your life? So, you can uh, select rural, rural, urban, or rural or urban. So, alimbawa, yan yung sagot ko. What course do you intend to pursue in college? So, you may select up to three courses. So, alimbawa, gusto ko um, engineering. So, you can actually type um, engineering, then select in uh, engineering courses. So, alimbawa, civil engineering or baka gusto nyo pong mag-biology or baka gusto nyo pong mag-education. Ayan. So, halimbawa, Bachelor in Mathematics Education. Or pwede din po, uh, BSE. Ayan. Halimbawa, BSE Mathematics. Number five, what factors or reasons influence your decision in choosing the SNT course you want to pursue? So, you can choose three factors. So, halimbawa, interest in science and math. Um, desire to serve a com uh, community or country. And then, let's say, teacher's influence. 
Number six, if you do not qualify in the DYC SES scholarship, will you be able to go to college? Ayan, so halimbawa, hindi ako makakapag-college pag wala po talagang, uh, pag hindi ako nakapasa no, sa DYC SES scholarship, so I'll answer no. But if kung um, makakapag-college pa din po kayo kahit walang uh, DYC scholarship, then you answer yes to that. Number seven, do you belong to an indigenous group of people? So, halimbawa, pag hindi, so answer no to that. Number eight, have you joined any of the following projects implemented or conducted by the USCSCI during your elementary, junior high school, or senior high school? So, you can uh, select all that applies. Otherwise, you answer no. So, halimbawa, nakapag-join na kayo ng mga uh, uh, yes awards or climate science youth camp nang ganyan and then in what year did you last participate in the, uh, those youth stem promotions so halimbawa let's say 2020 or 2019 nung hindi pa nag pandemic ayan then how did you learn question number 9 how did you learn about the DOSCSEI undergraduate scholarship you can select all that applies so say for example i've uh, learn it from the SAI website, social media, from my school teacher, or from my friends. And then just click the continue button to proceed with the personal information. Ayan, nakalagay na po dito yung aking given name. Ayan, hindi ko na po yan may edit no? Itong date of birth, middle name, last name, suffix name. But if... Uh, nagkamali po kayo during registration na sa spelling ng inyong name, you can click the request name change. Ayan. Lagay nyo po yung reason for change. Tapos i-edit nyo po yan. Ayan. Tapos mag upload po kayo ng uh, document no that indicates your full name and birthday. Ayan. Tapos click submit. Pero pag tama na lahat ng naib, uh, indicate nyo or naibigay nyo sa system, then no need to request for name change. So, provide your place of birth. Halimbawa, uh, Cagayan de Oro City. Number of children in the family. Uh, since um, ako lang mag-isa, so one. Your sex, male or female. Your religion, halimbawa, let's say Roman Catholic. Citizenship, Filipino. Do you have a dual citizenship? Pag wala naman, just answer no to that. Ayan. Next is your DepEd Learner Reference Number. So, hindi po ito required. You can leave it blank if uh, hindi nyo po maalala yung inyong reference number, no? But you can put naman your LRN here pag uh, may reference po kayo. Halimbawa, may ID pa po kayo. Or, yeah, nakalagay po to usually sa ID. Tapos your civil status. So, halimbawa, single. Then, click Continue. So next, under step 3, is the contact information. So ayan, nakalagay na po yung primary email dyan, alternate email. Lagay nyo po dito yung inyong mobile number. So halimbawa yung mobile number namin sa scholarship. Ayan. Tapos may question po dito, are you a resident of your municipality for 4 years or more? So pag oo, yeah, just click yes. Pag hindi naman, pag less than 4 years, answer no. So yes yung isasagot ko dito. So just um, provide no your permanent address. So you can type your zip code here. So halimbawa um, from CDO 9000. Ayan. And then lagay ko dito let's say Carmen. Ayan. Tapos pag may house number po or lot, block, or face, lagay nyo po dito. Street, street. Face or purok, lagay nyo po dito. Village or subdivision. Pag wala naman, you can leave it blank. Ayan. Tapos, automatic na naka-fill out na po yung barangay, city or municipality, tsaka province. Then, answer this question here. Is your current address same as your permanent address? Just answer yes to that or no. Then, click continue. So, next step is the family information. So, my question po dito. Is your family a recipient? of the DSWD's Pantawid Pamilyang Fil uh, Pilipino Program or the 4Ps. So if member po kayo ng 4Ps, you can answer yes to this or pag hindi naman, click no. So next is to provide the details of your um, parents, no, your father or mother. Ayan. So for the, fa uh, for the father, ayan, civil status, let's say married. Ayan, so halimbawa yung name ng father ay, um, let's say, 
No, by Roger. Ayan. Roger. Roger De La Cruz. Ayan, you can leave the middle name blank, also the suffix name. You can provide the contact number. Ayan, so, nagan nyo lang po yung contact number. Tsaka, select nyo po yung highest educational attainment. So, halimbawa, college graduate. Now, employment uh, status in 2022, so select class of worker. Ayan, marami po tayong choices. So, if W or pag walang work un uh, unemployed, Ayan, select nyo po yung applicable sa father nyo po. So, let's say unemployed yung aking father. So, occupation, since unemployed, so nan yung ilalagay ko. Hindi na magre-require si system ng name of employer, employer address, dahil unemployed naman po. And then, you can leave it uh, zero here naman kasi unemployed. Father's address, same as your permanent address. So, answer yes to that if oo or no pag hindi. Now, onto the mother, mother's information, uh, civil status, let's say married. Tapos yung name here is, uh, let's say, Teresita De La Cruz. Ayan, contact number 09, ayan, ayan. Tapos highest educational attainment is, uh, let's say, college graduate. Employment status in 2022, halimbawa yung aking mother ay, um... Government employee. So, works for government agency. Yung occupation niya ay, let's say, admin staff. Name of employer, let's say, DOST 10. Employer address, Carmen CDO. Tapos yung annual gross income po ay income ng parent niyo annually or yearly. So, if alam niyo po yung monthly uh, income nila, just uh, multiply it by 12. So, halimbawa, um, let's say 20k per month times 12. Let's say, ano na lang, 240,000 yung annual gross income ng mother ko. So, answer this question here. Mother's address, same as your permanent address. So, answer yes if oo. Click no if in this. So, yes na lang. Do you have a legal guardian? So, uh, sasagutan nyo lang po ng yes itong legal, uh, part na to, no? To be accomplished only by those whose parents are deceased or working abroad. Ayan po. Tapos, pag uh, may ilalagay po kayo na legal guardian, you should submit an affidavit of guardianship. Pag uh, yes po yung sagot nyo dito, provide nyo lang po yung details uh, ng inyong legal guardian. Pag wala naman po, just click no. Then, click continue. Now, the next step is the financial contribution. So, if both parents are unemployed, no? So, halimbawa, walang work yung aking father at mother, then I can uh, click yes and then provide details here. Like, say, for example, yung aking uh, tita ay nag-support, uh, no? For my studies. So, lagay ko po dito educational assistance. Tapos, select ko po relative. Tapos, ilalagay ko po dito yung annual contribution ng tita ko. So, for example, let's say, 100,000 um, annually yung uh, binibigay ng aking tita no, for my uh, studies. Ayan. Pero pag may uh, work naman na yung inyong parents, you can answer no to this. Then, click continue. The next is the household information. So, ownership of the housing unit. So, select nyo lang po kung asan po dito yung applicable. Halimbawa, owned, fully paid na po, owned, pero nagbabayad po kayo monthly. Um, rented, rent-free or living with relatives and others. So, let's see, owned and fully paid. Next question is, your family owns a vehicle? So, if my vehicle po, so click yes and then provide uh, the information here. Let's say the vehicle type is like the car, year model, let, let's say 2010, and the uh, maker, I think it's the brand, also let's say uh, Toyota. Ganyan po. Pag marami po kayong vehicle, you can uh, click this add row button, tapos provide nyo po yung uh, details ng vehicle. Pero pag wala naman pong vehicle yung inyong family, you can uh, answer no to this question. 
Next, does your family own agricultural land or non-residential land? So if meron, just provide the uh, lot area in square meters. Or pag wala naman, click no. Then continue. Next is the school information. So you uh, po provide nyo po yung information ng yung school. So um, select the region. Let's say region 10. Province, Misamis Oriental, Municipality, Cagayan de Oro City. Tapos halimbawa yung school is uh, Cagayan de Oro National High School. Now may nakalagay po dito na uh, uh, reminder or note po na if you cannot find your school, kindly coordinate first with the concerned DOST office for the inclusion of your school in the system. So your school must be selected here so you can proceed with your application. So click here to view DOST of his uh, contacts. Ayan po. So, all you have to do, pag hindi nyo po makita yung inyong school sa uh, drop-down list, no, send an email to SEI or to the DOST office in your region for the inclusion of your school. So, complete school name, complete school address, name ng school registrar, school contact information, no, uh, telephone number or mobile number, school email address, School grading scheme. So, school grading uh, scheme po or pwede po yung uh, percentage no kung yung grading system ay like yung mga 91, 92, like uh, to 100, ganun. Pero pag ang um, in grading, uh, grading scheme po ng inyong school ay let's say yung mga A, B, C, D or yung parang sa college na 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, pong mag-provide ng document no para malaman po namin kung ano po yung equivalent na percentage bawat uh, grading uh, uh, scheme. So say for example, yung AI, uh, yung grade na AI 95 to 100, so dapat may uh, document po kayo na ay uh, sa submit to support na totoo talaga na ang grade na AI 95 to 100 in percentage. Now, school term type, so uh, pili lang po kayo either semestral, trimester, or quarter term. Tapos send nyo po sa email address uh, kung saan po kayo na belong. So halimbawa for region 10 is this email address. Then, close. Now, all you have to do is wait, no? Pag na-include na po uh, ng uh, DOS Regional Office in yung school, makikita nyo po sa drop-down list yung in name ng inyong school. Then, you can uh, proceed now with the uh, next step. So, school address, lagay nyo lang po yung um, zip code. So, halimbawa, school address is 9,000 for Cagayan de Oro City. Let's see, let's say Carmen, uh, ayan. You can also provide the uh, house number, unit number, lot block or building, compound street face or baroque village subdivision, ayan. Tapos naka-provide automatic na po yung barangay, city, municipality, and province. Now, um, next is to choose appropriate scholarship program applied for. Ayan. So, uh, kung makikita nyo po, um, uh, hindi ko po maklik itong uh, DYSTSCI Merit Scholarship, meaning hindi po ako applicable for this um, type of scholarship. So, based po ito sa annual income na iniligay ko kanina sa um, family, yung income ng parents ko. So, ang clickable lang po dito is RA 7687. So, click ko lang po yan. But if your income, no, if malaki po yung income ng inyong parents, you can actually click this one. No? Depende po talaga yan sa inilagay nyo na annual income ng parents. So, on this case, yung clickable po is RA 7687. Then, click continue. Now, the next step is the uploading of requirements. So, please make sure that you keep all the hard copies of the files that you uploaded to the system to be used for verification. Now, all you have to do is um, make sure na mayroon na po kayong scanned copy or photo ng inyong mga documents po. Ito lahat ng mga documents. Form CTG, yung inyong recent passport size picture, birth certificate, and uh, yung sa case ko po, since yung mother ko lang po ang may trabaho or employed, yung um, 
bali proof of income ng ng mother ko ang hinihingi ng system but if both your parents are employed no uh, lalabas din po dito yung father's uh, proof of income i-upload niyo rin po yon Tapos pag um, may naka-indicate po na guardian, so lalabas din po dito, need you po mag-upload ng affidavit of guardianship. Ayan. So next uh, is to upload, no? let's say for Form C, upload po natin yung Form C. So click Upload button. Then click nyo lang po tong Add File to Upload. Ayan. Tapos, ayan po, um, rename ko lang po to. Should be Dela Cruz. Ayan. So, Form C. Ayan. Upload po natin yung Form C kasi Form C yung nasa system. Then, click the Upload button. So, pwede nyo pong i-review no? or i-view nyo po yung uploaded na file kung tama po talaga yung inyong na-upload. So, Form C. Ayan. Tama. Form C yung aking na-upload. Form D. Ayan. Upload natin Form D. Then, click Upload. Form E. Let's say E1. You can select E1 if you're from the stem strand. Halimbawa, since I am from the stem strand, no? Form E1 yung aking i-upload. Form F. Select Form F. Form G. Then. Perform each. Form I. Ayan. Medyo. Ayan po. Uh, mataas po yung ating process in this part. Ano? So, Form J. Ayan. Recent passport size picture. Ayan, so halimbawa ito, yung picture, yung birth certificate, lagay ko dito birth cert, ayan, tapos yung mother's proof of income, so halimbawa uh, ito, proof of income, yung ITR ng mother, ayan. Pwede nyo pong i-view lahat isa-isa kung tama po ba yung na-upload na document. Ayan, ganyan po. To make sure na tama talaga. Kasi maaaring ma-disqualify po kayo sa examination pag hindi po tama yung inyong na-upload na mga documents. Then, click continue. Pag na-upload na po lahat, ayan. Then, the next part, no, nasa finish na po tayo na part ng step 3. So, is the selection of the test center preference. So, we are tentatively scheduling the face-to-face -face qualifying examination on April 67. So, kindly select your first and second choice for the location of your test center. So, first choice, ay ito po yung option. So, near to permanent address. Halimbawa, I am from Cagayan de Oro City and uh, gusto ko yung location ng, or yung test center ko ay sa Cagayan lang din. So, pwedeng permanent address. Tapos, second choice ko is near to school address. Tapos, may question po dito. How confident are you about your performance in a face-to-face -face pen and paper exam? So, kung confident ka sa pen and paper exams, you can just answer completely confident. Now, how confident are you about your performance in a face-to-face -face digitized examination naman? So, if confident ka uh, for both, no? Whether it's a pen and paper or digitized, you can also answer completely confident. Number three, with uh, the proper protocols in place for the preservation of the integrity of the scholarship examination for the safety of both the test personnel and applicants, which mode of scholarship examination would you prefer to take? If mas com confident po kayo sa uh, pen and paper exam, you can select this. If confident kayo sa digitized exam or face-to-face, -face, then you can select this one. Let's say pen and paper yung gusto ko. Then click continue. So, ito po yung terms and condition, no? Basahin niyo po yan bago po kayo mag-proceed. And if you agree with the terms and condition, just click agree. Then, submit your application. 
Ayan, application submitted. Now, nakalagay po na instruction dito. All you have to do, no, is wait for your test permit. Kung saan po nakalagay yung test center and test session and other pertinent information about the exam sometime in February 2024. So, need nyo lang po mag-wait. Uh, through your email addresses, no, matatanggap nyo po yung inyong test permit sometime in February 2024. Since application submitted na, back to homepage, ayan po. Submitted na po yung inyong application. Okay na po lahat. So, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.